live from Hollywood, it's Wednesdays with Toily! Wednesdays with Toily is brought to you by the Toily Tea Paper Plush Puppet. You only have nine days left to pre order yours. Visit thetoily.com forward slash plush for more information. Tonight, Toily welcomes special guest from the Best Show podcast and featured in the documentary Wacky Man The Rise of a Puppeteer, Wally Wackerman! Plus, a visit with John B. DeHaas. I'm your announcer, Galpin Ford. And now, please welcome your host, here's Toily! Thank you! Thank you very much! Oh, thank you, thank you! Thank you so much! It is such a pleasure to have you all here! Thank you for coming! Hey, let's not waste any time! Let's check in with our good friend out there in Florida! I've been waiting to talk to him all week! The gentleman, John B. DeHaas! Hello, Hello Toily. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Now, you spent the day doing something fun. Well, I spent an hour, maybe two hours. But yes, yes. I went to Universal Studios Florida today. And how was it? It was fine. It was, it was not, not too many people. It was good. Everyone was, everyone was wearing the mask, which I don't have mine right now, but everyone was social distancing, so it was good. And and did you go on any rides? I only ro I rode the train from the studios to uh, Anza Adventure, the Hogwarts Express. Yes, that's all you did. That's all I did. Why? <laughs> Why did you go there? Just I to have do that. He's in past. I go all the time, so I was like, "That's okay." I just wanted to kind of walk around, and you know. Well, John, have you? What's going on? Are you at a restaurant right now? What's <laughs> happening behind you? You hear noise? That would be the kitchen. People are being a little bit loud on my live stream. I see, I see. John, let's talk about the toilet tea paper plush puppet. Can we please talk about it? I mean, yes, I want... Listen, I want... We're, almost, we're almost to 300 orders. Wow, because I ordered 27, and I want to order 27 more, but these, the fans, got they got to get it. They're like, if we don't order it, we can order it later, right? I'm like, no, you got to order it now. You got Maybe nine it's... days. That's what you got, it's... nine days. It's not in the stores. You got to order it now. That's right. Hey, John, did you hear that I'm doing a special live stream on Saturday for the I people who've ordered the plush? Yes. It's Are you going to be there? Quite a coup. On Saturday, I'll see if I'm not busy. I'll try to make it. <laughs> I was going to play you a little, a little restaurant music for us, John. I play you, I'll play you a little song because you know what's coming up. That's for Flag Day. When, when's Flag Day this year? June 14th. I don't know. I don't know if you could talk about the flag these days. It seems what? like you can't. Oh, okay. I just thought about what other holidays coming up. Well, it's also. That's right. It's Pride. I'm going to be doing some special cameos. Uh, oh where I'm donating part of my proceeds to Pride. So I'm very excited about that. Generous of you. But you're a generous guy. You're, I'm you're... pretty generous. In right. fact, John, I'm so generous, we got to say goodbye to you right now. Well, I, I, I want to get one of those toily plushes. I can just wait till it's in the stores, right? No, John, you got to go get your toily plush now. <laughs> okay. Thetoily.com forward slash plush. Yes, get it now. And then, well, now, toily, if I'm going to order like one, how much is shipping? Seven dollars and fifty cents. What if I wanted to order four hundred and twenty-seven of them? First, do that, and then seven dollars and fifty cents. It's seven dollars and fifty cents flat shipping. Wow, they're throwing money away. I mean, if I were them, if I were you, if you haven't ordered it yet, I would order at least three or four. Right? There you go. Thetoily.com forward slash flush. Thanks for the picture of me. It was very nice. I. That's you in front of the. In front of the wall in Epcot. <laughs> or no, a Magic Kingdom. I bet it is. I know, I see that. The purple wall. <laughs> All right, John, play us out. We got to go. Thanks, John. Bye, Bye the plug.
Josh. Get it now. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's John B. Haas. Always fun to talk to him. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to welcome my special guest. Oh, no, Wally. It says you're unable to join. I don't know why that is. Here we go. Here we go. It says waiting for Wally Wackman. Oh, this is so exciting. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? I don't know. I don't know. It says connecting. There he is. Hey. Wally. We did it. So sorry about that. I don't know what happened. It's all right. We got it, Wally. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Great talking to you, uh, Toily. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. I mean, uh, you know, I've, I've seen some of the guests you've had on here. Um, Timmy the Tooth and um, Randy Feltface, Lolly Lardpop. I mean, you're, you're really on a roll. Thank, thank you. I am in many more ways than just one. And I yeah, appreciate I mean, you. you. Know, I, I couldn't refuse. You're such a charming guy. Oh boy, is it? Is this how it's going to be the whole interview? I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to get Scott. it out now. All right, Wally, let me <laughs> ask you. Uh, we have been in quarantine. You are in New York, is that correct? Oh, Connecticut now. Yeah. Oh, Connecticut. Yep. So you're in Connecticut. Have you? Uh, you have been quarantined, I assume, as well yep. as we all have. What has been your one comfort during this quarantine? Has there been like a food or a show or a book or something? Well, honestly, um, you know, I, I, I live in a bag like 99% of the time. So I've kind of been practicing the whole self-isolation for a real long time. So I've hardly noticed, honestly. Really? really? It's just another day for you. Yeah, basically, I mean, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Excellent. Excellent. So this is no change. And what do you think of the whole social distancing thing? I mean, you know, uh, it stinks because, you know, me and my, my human, you know, uh, uh, for anyone who doesn't know me, I, I, I am well aware that I am a puppet. It's, it's you know, it's a thing. And um, we were working on um, putting together live shows for, like, uh, kids' birthdays and stuff like that. It was moving along, and uh, this whole thing happened. And so that put, like, you know, the kibosh on that for the time being. We do plan on getting back to it if and when um, civilization returns. But, yeah, so it's impacted me in that way. I want to entertain kids, trying to find out how to do it online, as you've become such an expert at. Um, uh, well, listen, I need to entertain. You cannot contain the entertainment that is in my role. You, I just have to let it out. So I had to find some manner. You, you do a great job, and, I, I, you know, I look up to you in that way. Oh, well, thank you, so, which is interesting, because you're much taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, Wally... Uh, yep. You kind of entered the public uh, public consciousness via the, the best show with Tom Sharpley. Uh, yeah, exactly. How did you first get involved with that show, the best show with Tom Sharpley? Well, um, it started off because, you know, my dude uh, down there, um, his, his brother became friends with Tom. And, um, and then his, his younger brother became Tom's sort of uh, protege, you know, sort of. Uh, he was interested in doing radio and uh, he was in studio. And uh, Tom took him under his wing, and then he went to do, uh, you know, radio in college and stuff like that. And then, you know, my, my guy, the middle brother, uh, came along, and it was around the time that he finished building me. And so uh, I got mentioned one time, and um, from there it became a whole thing. Oh, you've got a puppet, huh? You know, it's not something you hear every day. So yeah. So Tom brought me on after uh, I showed up at a gathering for the, uh, the friends of Tom, the FOT, for those in the know. And... Um, and then he met me, he saw me, and uh, it became a thing. I took over his protege for a while from uh, the H-Man, uh, my, my guy's younger brother. And, uh, and then the rest is history, really. Excellent, excellent. I, well, I mean, I heard about you years ago uh, through The Best Show. I think that that's where I first heard of you. And uh, you were always charming. You were always funny. Um, Thank you. There, there was a bit of an incident called The Felt Down, which I don't oh. want to bring up. I don't want to bring up. People can look that up. They I mean, unless you want to talk about it. No, no, no. Okay, okay. People can look that up themselves. But let me ask you, the best show started as a radio show, and then it evolved into a podcast. What advice do you have for puppets, people like us, who are trying to get into an audio medium like radio or podcasts? You know, like, uh, what was this? Um, oh, geez. Um, the ventriloquist. He was very big on the on the radio. I, I'm totally Charlie Edgar Parker. Bergen. Edgar Bergen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what advice do you have for puppets who want to get involved in radio? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Um, really? I started 
I started a podcast of my own, the Wally Wackerman Pupcast. Yeah. Um, meant to talk to uh, people in puppetry and, you know, maybe their characters, too. Uh, we haven't done too many episodes. Things get sidetracked, whatever. Um, my situation was a little unique. Um, hey, I would never say never. If a puppet wants to, to get on radio or podcast, go for it. But, um, I mean, that's, it's not like anything I was super special. I was kind of right place, right time sort of thing. So I got into it, and, um, yeah, you know, it worked out for me. And, you know, hopefully get back to the podcast at some point. Um, but, yeah, you know, well, uh, Last we were doing, we were putting the efforts into the live shows. But, you know, all, all I can say is if you want to do something, just go for it. And, you know, put your efforts into it and do the best job you can. Well, and you also did a recent, um, I guess not too long ago, a live stream on your YouTube channel. So maybe yeah, that's was, another new you're exploring as well. Yeah, you know, um, once once everything hit uh, with this, this big situation affecting uh, the world population, I wanted to look into ways to keep things... Uh, going so I don't disappear and you know I was also hoping to bring some entertainment to the kids because you know kids are stuck inside and you know maybe they've got a sibling or two or their parents are doing the best they can maybe they've still got school remotely but you know I want to bring some fun and you know I really was just dabbing my my toes into the water because I don't really have experience with the live stream stuff you know like I said you're you're, you're kind of an expert on all things TikTok, YouTube, uh, here on Instagram which I just joined for this um, but, well I uh, I tell you, I mean, I, I tell you, it's, you know, I, I, I have been doing this stuff, but it's been over a year that I've been working and trying to figure, like, what's the best way to do this? So it takes time. It's not something, unfortunately, that happens overnight. You really oh, do have to take a lot of time to figure out, okay, what's the best camera? What's the best lights? What's the best software? You know, it takes Absolutely. a while. And then sometimes the software doesn't work, just like Instagram right now, today. You <laughs> yep, know, yep. basic point. So, yeah, you know, absolutely got to do a little more research, I think. But I was just sort of testing it out for fun. And uh, we'll see if I can crack the code. Excellent. Well, I wanted to ask you, uh, you mentioned Randy Feltface before. You actually got to go up on stage oh, with Randy Feltface during one of his shows. Can you tell us a bit about how, how this magical moment happened? It was pretty amazing, pretty awesome. Um, just a confluence of events. Um, I was in my bag. Uh, my, my, my human Zach brought me along to a show of his because, you know, Randy in, in the States was, you know, it seemed like a rare occurrence. I think, you know, he's done more since then. But, you know, he's, he's the guy's from Australia. So I, I wanted to take a chance. You know, I heard of him through an Australian friend of mine, Dan. And um, which I'll say, when I was built, we had no awareness of Randy. You know, people might look at me, look at him and think I'm some sort of knockoff. We're very different personalities, voices and stuff. But appearance... There, there's maybe a little resemblance, but, you know. You, you could be related in a family yeah. way. Yeah, cousins or something. Right. But, uh, so he brought me along, and, you know, there was a little time before the show, and someone asked, what's in the bag? So uh, I got taken out of the bag and, you know, doing my stuff. And uh, then, you know, his, his, his show he was doing was kind of loose. There was, you know, a basic um, routine and storyline and whatever, but he also kind of riffed with the audience and stuff back and forth. And so... Uh, some other audience member was saying, you should see what's in his bag because uh, he got picked, you know, Randy, you know, looked at or pointed to my guy, my human. And then someone else was like, oh, you should see what is in his bag. And that's how I came out. We talked and whatever. And he brought me up and uh, we had a fun time. And it was it was great. We talked a little after the show too. Uh, a really terrific guy. So, uh, you know, I'm glad to have had that chance. You know, it felt like a once in a lifetime thing. And yeah, he's, he's a good he's a good dude, a very funny dude. He is, he is, and, and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't say enough nice things about him, and that's so, I mean, you know, I've been able to meet him, but to get up on stage with him is just like, that's a dream come true, that's awesome. It was, it was, yeah, it was great, I'll never forget it. Well, uh, before we wrap up here, I want to talk about this documentary, uh, this yes. documentary is called Wacky Man, Rise, The Rise of the Puppeteer, wait, sorry, yep. let me say, I'm going to get confused with the Star Wars film, Wacky <laughs> Man, The Rise of a Puppeteer. Yeah. And how did your involvement in this film come about? Well, I was kind of a key player. Um, honestly, as I said in a promotional video, I wish it was Wackham and Rise of a Puppet, but uh, you can't always get your way. But uh, yeah, it's a film uh, by a friend of mine and Zach's name, Anthony Desiato. Uh, he's made a few other uh, documentary films too, mostly revolving around comic books and that culture. Um, so he was friends with, with Zach, and Zach was 
briefly featured in his original one, my comic shop documentary, and he had a funny moment in there. But uh, also outside of that, Anthony and Zach got to know each other, became good friends, and, you know, as sometimes happens, like with the best show and Tom, I came up, you know, oh, hey, I have a puppet. And so he kind of learned about me and our situation and uh, Zach trying to break into professional puppetry, and he became interested in that. So he, he sort of took a detour from the comic world and, uh, you know, wanted to learn more about it and spotlight something that is, you know, maybe a niche profession. So, uh, yeah, that was, that's how it came about. And, it, you know, it was an interesting project to be a part of. And uh, it's, it's great. And, uh, you know, good, good, cool, uh, fun, fun thing to do. Well, now, you know, a lot of times in documentaries, people feel that they are treated fairly. When the final edit comes out, they go, that's not, that's not, you know, like Tiger King. When Tiger King was <laughs> popular, you heard all these people going, I'm not like that. They made me look like that. Do you feel that the, that the film is an accurate representation of who you are? Yeah, I think you get a good feel for who I am, what I am. You know, some good commentary from the people involved. Uh, people who know me, people who know Zach. Uh, but yeah, my one complaint, like I said, is I wish it was more about me. It's a little, a little Zach heavy, and I'm sort of the the second lead. But uh, can't get everything you want. There you go. Well, I hear now that people can watch the documentary for free. Is that for true? For free. Yes, it was for used to be charged. Um, it was it was about two bucks to rent, but I guess that was uh, too expensive for some people's blood, maybe. So now now people are checking it out because it's free. That's, where can they go? Where can they go to see it? Well, it's on Vimeo. If you search for Wacky Man, the, you know, two separate words, Wacky Man, not quite like my last name, but a little different, uh, you'll find it. Or also, if you go to the Facebook page for the film, Wacky Man, Rise of a Puppeteer, it's, it's right there on Facebook, too. So easy to access. And, you know, check it out. Me and Zach would love to hear anybody's feedback, especially from, you know, people in the field. So, uh, yeah, see what you think. It's, you know, it's, it's really well done, especially for someone who, who, you know, was self-taught with filmmaking. So, yeah, good stuff. And he just made a new one, but that's, you know, comic book. But, you know, we had our day in the sun. And, you know, yeah, check it out. It's free. Excellent. Well, there you go. Well, Wally, it was an absolute pleasure. We've been friends for a long time, and it's a pleasure to have you come on the show. If people want to follow you, check out your work, keep tabs on you, where can they go? Well, um, I'm on all the usual places, YouTube, Twitter, uh, I've got a Facebook page, and now I'm on here. So, uh, you know, you look up my name, last name, W-A-C-K-I-M-A-N. I am Jewish, um, so it's not the usual wacky man. And, um, yeah, you check me out here. I don't know what I'm going to be doing on here, but I, I made it for this. And, I, I, you know, if this is the only thing I do on Instagram, it will be have, have yeah. It will have been worth it. So it was so great talking to you, Toy. Thank you so much for having me on. It, it was really a wonderful time. My pleasure. Uh, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for doing it. Everyone, please go follow Wally. Wally, thank you so much. It was Take great care. having you here. Thanks, Toy. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Wally Wackerman. Wow, what a show. What a show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we will be back next Wednesday. Go buy the plush. We're almost to 300 orders and then it's only 100 left. Come on, go buy the plush. I will talk to you soon. Gotta go! Wednesdays with Toily was brought to you by the Toily Tea Paper Plush Puppet. Get yours at thetoily.com forward slash plush. Wednesdays with Toily is brought to you every Wednesday on Instagram. My name is Galpin Ford, your announcer. Galpin Ford Suits by Sims of North Hollywood. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. <laughs>